Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go over some of the basic accounting terms that you will need to know. QuickBooks doesn't require users to learn or understand accounting jargon. However, it does use some common business terms. For instance, your chart of accounts. When you keep books for a company, you want to track where your income comes from, where you put it, what your expenses are for, and what you use to pay them. You track this flow of money through a list of accounts called the chart of accounts. There are two types of accounts. The balance sheet accounts, such as checking and savings, and accounts used to group transactions for reporting purposes, such as income and expense accounts. The chart of accounts is a complete list of your business's accounts and their balances. In order to display the chart of accounts, from the list menu, choose chart of accounts. QuickBooks displays the chart of accounts for your company. If you scroll through your chart of accounts, you will notice that the list displays balance sheet accounts first, followed by income accounts, and then expense accounts. Let's talk about the different types of accounts. There are assets, liabilities, and equity. Assets include both what you have and what other people owe you. The money people owe you is called your accounts receivable, or AR for short. QuickBooks uses an accounts receivable account to track the money owed you. The rest of your company's assets may include checking accounts, savings accounts, petty cash, fixed assets such as equipment or trucks, inventory, and undeposited funds, money you've received from customers but haven't yet deposited in the bank. When setting up your company file in QuickBooks, please note that even though checking, savings, and petty cash are all company assets, you'll set them up as bank type accounts in QuickBooks. Liabilities are what your company owes to other people. The money you owe for unpaid bills is your accounts payable, or AP for short. QuickBooks uses an accounts payable account to track the money you owe different people for bills. A liability can be a formal loan, an unpaid bill, or sales and payroll taxes you owe to the government. When setting up your company file in QuickBooks, note that even though unpaid bills are liabilities, you'll set them up as accounts payable type accounts in QuickBooks. Equity is the difference between what you have, your assets, and what you owe, your liabilities. Equity equals assets minus liabilities. If you sold all your assets today and you paid off your liabilities using the money received from the sale of your assets, the leftover money would be your equity. Your equity reflects the health of your business since it is the amount of money left after you satisfy all your debts. Equity comes from three sources, money invested in the company by its owners, net profit from operating the business during the current accounting period, retained earnings or net profits from earlier periods that haven't been distributed to the owners. Of course, you as the owner can also take money out of the business. Such withdrawals, called owner draws, reduce the business equity. If you have a sole proprietorship where the existence of the business depends solely on your efforts, you can check the value of your owner's equity by creating a QuickBooks balance sheet. Now let's talk about the different types of bookkeeping, cash versus accrual. When you begin your business, you should decide which bookkeeping method you're going to use. The bookkeeping method determines how you report income and expenses on your tax forms. Check with your tax advisor or the IRS before choosing a bookkeeping method for tax purposes. Many small businesses record income when they receive the money and expenses when they pay the bills. This method is known as bookkeeping on a cash basis. 
If you've been recording deposits or your customers' payments but haven't been including the money customers owe you as part of your income, you've been using cash basis. Similarly, if you've been tracking expenses at the time you pay them rather than at the time you first receive the bills, you've been using cash basis. In accrual basis bookkeeping, you record income at the time of the sale, not at the time you receive the payment. Similarly, you enter expenses when you receive the bill, not when you pay it. Most accountants feel that the accrual method gives you a truer picture of your business finances. Whether you use the cash or accrual method, you enter transactions the same way in QuickBooks. QuickBooks is set up to do your reports on an accrual basis. For example, it shows income on a profit and loss statement for invoices as soon as you record them, even if you haven't yet received payment. It shows expenses as soon as you record bills, even if they're unpaid. You can see any report except transaction reports on a cash basis by changing the reporting preference. From the edit menu, choose preferences. In the preference window, click the reports and graphs. And then click the company preferences tab. Right here, under Summary Reports Basis, you can change from Accrual to Cash. When you create reports in QuickBooks, you can switch between Cash and Accrual reports at any time, regardless of which bookkeeping method you have chosen for tax purposes. For instance, with this Profit and Loss statement, if you go to Modify Report, Right here, under Report Basis, you will see you can switch between Accrual and Cash. This does not change the way you have chosen for tax purposes. Two of the most important reports for measuring the profitability of your business are the Balance Sheet and the Profit and Loss Statement, also called an Income Statement. These are the reports most often requested by CPAs and financial officers. For example, banks request both documents when you apply for a loan. Let's take a look at the balance sheet. From the reports menu, choose company and financial. And then from the submenu, choose balance sheet standard. A balance sheet is a financial snapshot of your company on one date. It shows what you have, your assets, what people owe you, your accounts receivable, what your business owes to other people, your liabilities and your accounts payable, and then the net worth of your business, your equity. The other report you will use most often is the Profit and Loss Statement, also called an Income Statement. To get to the Profit and Loss Report, go to the Report Center on the navigation bar, click Company and Financial, and in the Profit and Loss section, click Standard. A Profit and Loss Statement, also called an Income Statement, shows your income expenses, and net profit or loss equal to income minus expenses. The QuickBooks Profit and Loss Statement summarizes the revenue and expenses for your business by category, first income, then expenses. Another report that your accountant may be interested in is the Statement of Cash Flows. To see the Statement of Cash Flow Report, go to the Report Center on the navigation bar, click on Company and Financial, and on the right-hand side in the Cash Flow section, choose the Statement of Cash Flows Report. A Statement of Cash Flows shows your receipts and payments during a specific accounting period. 
Let's take a look at some journal entries for transactions. In traditional accounting, transactions are entered into a general journal in which the total amount in the debit column equals the total amount in the credit column, and each amount is assigned to an account on the chart of accounts. This accounting method is known as double entry accounting. For day-to-day -day transaction entry, QuickBooks uses familiar forms, invoices, bills, checks. QuickBooks also has a general journal entry window that you can use for special transactions, such as selling a depreciated asset or for all transactions if you prefer the traditional system. Also, when you enter a transaction directly into an asset, liability, or equity account register, QuickBooks automatically labels the transaction Gen Journal in the register and General Journal on reports that list transactions. To take a look at the General Journal entry for a transaction, open up any sales form, for instance, an invoice. From here, you can type the keyboard shortcut Control plus Y, or you can press the Journal button. Now the Journal button is only available in the Accountant Edition. If you are not using the Accountant Edition, you can click the Modify Report button, and in the Columns field, select Debit and Credit, and then click OK. In the Accountant Edition, the debit and credit columns are selected automatically. In the transaction journal that appears, check the debit and credit columns to see the accounting. In the Customer and Vendor Centers, you can also view a journal entry for a transaction. Locate the customer or vendor transaction, right-click the transaction, and choose View Transaction Journal. So there you go. That's all the accounting you will need to know to get yourself started in QuickBooks.